and welcome back to Street Mansion. Today I am outside, obviously, because I just got a big box of bulbs from Holland Bulb Company. This is not sponsored, but I want to tell you that I'm going to be so annoying in this video trying to convince you to plant spring blooming bulbs because it's life changing. Holland Bulb Company does not know I exist. No bulb company knows I exist. I would like them to, but I really do want to convince you to plant spring blooming bulbs because it's life changing. I, I know that sounds so dramatic, but as somebody who struggles with seasonal depression um, and just anxiety and blah and that in general, um, having, having this to look forward to is just so amazing and such a pick me up on those like winter mornings when I just know like man another week another week and I'm gonna have flowers it's just so exciting to watch them come up I think that if you follow me on Instagram um, or if you had have been for a while you probably have seen my daffodils and I love them I love them so much I know that I go absolutely daffodil crazy and just don't stop talking about them but it's because I can't help it they really just make winter so much more tolerable this is, video isn't about daffodils. Today I'm gonna to be planting crocus and I'm probably going to switch up how I say it multiple times because I'm not sure what the proper plural is. If it's croci, crocuses, crocus, it doesn't matter. Please don't correct me, it's fine. We all know what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, today I'm gonna to be planting a bunch of crocus but I think I also would like to maybe show you my daffodils first. Obviously they are not in bloom right now. They are long gone and they won't be here for a couple more months. But this obsession started our first spring here when I realized that we had some growing like along our woods. And then immediately I was like, okay, I have to order more. So my dad was like, order more? Why would we order some? I'm gonna dig them up and bring them to you. So my dad brought me over an absolute boatload of my late mother's daffodils, which was so special because we got to plant them together. And that was just really nice. So that probably also ties into why I love my daffodils so much. But I have bought and paid lots of money for my own daffodils that I've added as well. Like, it's daffodil city over here in the spring. We wanted to expand what I was growing um, in terms of spring bulbs. I don't have good luck with tulips because the deer just eat them, the deer and the rabbits. I have a problem with them. They are not my friends. And uh, they don't bug the daffodils at all. And we have some crocus in the front yard that I did not plant. I don't know who planted them or when they came along, but um, the, nobody touches them nobody bothers them so I felt like that was my sign this year that I really need to finally plant some because you don't mow down daffodils as soon as they're done blooming you need to let those leaves stay and absorb sunlight and nutrients so those are planted along like my woods line and that's fine I'm fine with not mowing that for a while but my vision for crocus has always been that they would kind of be sprinkled in my lawn and I don't love a shaggy yard. Like, do not get me wrong, I am not a weirdo about grass. I don't need a perfectly manicured lawn, but I also don't like shaggy grass. So that had always been my hang up with planting more crocus, was that I didn't want to be mowing them down when they need to be growing, that sort of thing. This year, this last spring, I really paid attention to where they were growing and when I wanted to mow that, and I realized that they were done that they were long done, their leaves were donezo before I wanted to mow, which means it is finally time for me to have a crocus front yard. So I don't know if anybody's gonna think this is silly or it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna have, I'm, I'm specifically planting these with the vision of the photograph I'm going to take of my front yard. So as you've probably seen, my house has this one really good angle that, that like I always take photos of because that's the view that you get as you're approaching the house. My vision is that the crocus will be that in that view. That is my main spot that I wanna plant these. I probably spent around 100 bucks. I don't know how many bulbs this is, but it is a pretty substantial little box here. And hopefully with time, they will naturalize and fill in my front yard. Yeah, I apologize in advance because obviously I don't have an after photo. You're not gonna see the flowers in this video, but hopefully, in the spring, I will have an amazing update for you. So let's go get started. So I own one of those attachments that goes on your drill that you can, ugh, 
make a, <laughs> make holes for bulbs but because I want to plant these in like swaths I think the best thing we can do is I watched a video about this this lady what she was doing is she was basically making an H so the lines of the H is what you're gonna cut and then the center line of the H is where you peel back your dirt and plant all your bulbs in that whole area so that way you're getting large swaths and I was I, like I said, I have a ton of bulbs here, so my plan is just to make, make a bunch of H's and then hopefully they will naturalize and eventually with time I will have a whole front yard covered in crocus. But for now, you know, let's start. Let's start somewhere. first H, let's see how it works. Like that I think we're good for this first H. Go to sleep little babies. Wow that's such an easy way to plant. Just gonna dig all my holes first um, now that I have that first one done um, just so I can kind of get a better idea of what I have planted or like where I have it planted because like I said I want this my whole reason for planting them up here is to make like a visual impact that I can take a photo of and be like really excited that it looks like my whole front yard is flowers so oh. Boy, jumping up and down on the shovel's hard work. I feel like I did all my garden work in the spring and it felt really awesome and I haven't done anything in a while except play video games. So let's go! Something I want to tell you before I forget is that for spring blooming bulbs you plant in the fall and you are good to plant in the fall as long as your ground is workable. So if you are seeing this video and it's sleeting outside and it is so cold, order bulbs! As long as that ground is not frozen, you can plant and you should. Plant bulbs! Do you know what I should have done before I started planting? I have two 
H's filled with uh, bulbs already. But what I should have done was mixed all of the bags together because I did buy assortments. Um, and like these ones are giant yellow. And I have some ruby giant. We've got some tricolor ones as well. I just feel like I need to mix them all together so I get the most natural looking thing instead of big clumps. Clumps are okay. I'm not gonna dig up my bulbs that I already planted. It's fine. Like I said, the plan is that hopefully in time, I can just get this whole yard full of flowers. So I'm just gonna dump these all in the box. Oh, those ones are so tiny. You know what, I lied. I just went inside and ate a granola bar and now I feel like I have the energy that I really should dig up all of the bulbs that I laid already. Because I did that H cut, it'll be no problem just to open it up, take them out. And then that way I can have a true mix. So let's do that. It would be lazy not to do that. And I feel like I, I bought this, I spent the money, I'm going through the effort. Let's make it perfect. Once I opened up my little H cuts there and uh, to mix up the bulbs, I decided to just leave them open so that I could get a better idea of where I have them and see where they will be. Because like I've mentioned, the whole point is that so that I can have this really cool shot of the house with all these flowers in front of it. I'm an extremely visual person, so being able to see them there is really helping cement the vision. I have a lot more holes to dig. Let's get some bulbs in the ground. So I just finished up. Here is what we are looking at. As you can see, I am not, not a rule follower when it comes to planting things. Um, like specifically, uh, let me grab one here. About bulbs having like an, a top and a bottom. I don't think it matters. I mean, obviously like the roots will always grow from the bottom and the flower will always go from the top. But the thing is, is that it's always gonna try to reach for the sun. And something this small, it just, it doesn't matter. Like, it's gonna grow. If it wants to grow and if it's a healthy bulb, it's gonna grow. So there's no sense in me just like spending forever trying to like make sure they're all neat and facing up. Nature will find a way. So don't stress over that. But I do think it's cool how this one's already trying to come up. Got a little while, bud. Good night. You guys, I am so excited. This this could be really cool. It could also be a huge bust, but I don't think so. I think it'll be epic. Let me go show you what the yard looks like. Um, I already showed you like the individual plots, but let me show you this epic shot that I have in mind that hopefully next year will just be all flowers in front of the house, so. So here it is. This is what I'm picturing. Maybe like probably from like a little bit lower, like, you know, that ground perspective where you're looking through a flower. It's gonna be cool. 
One last thing before I tuck my babies in for the winter. I'm going to do a little squirrel protection. Squirrels are generally not somebody I worry about with my flowers, but I did plant some daffodils and ended up finding them like outside of their holes. So I am just going to sprinkle a little bit of red pepper flakes and cayenne pepper in the holes. Just just to stink it up a little. I don't use any chemicals or anything, so just this smell should deter them a bit. But if they're really hungry and they need my bulbs, they can have them, but I would like to just fend them off, hopefully. Stinky, stinky. All right, cross your fingers for me. So I think that about wraps it up. Uh, I got all of those bulbs in the ground. There are so many, I cannot wait to see them. <sighs> like I said, I just think that like spring blooming bulbs are life changing. They have been for me and I know that sounds stupid, but gardening has become such a big part of my mental health. I don't know, it sounds silly. I don't want it, and no, you know what? I take it back. It doesn't sound silly because you know what? Anything helps, life is hard. And if you need flowers to help you get by, then by all means, plant the flowers. I hope I convinced at least one of you out there to buy some bulbs and get those planted for spring. I, I promise you, it's so worth it. It's so satisfying. And if you do buy bulbs and you plant them because of this video, or if you have in the past because of all my daffodil stuff on Instagram, please let me know. That makes me so happy. It, it really does. I. I love knowing that I am the reason that there is a flower growing in the world. I feel like that's really cool. As I mentioned before, these bulbs were from Holland Bulb Farm. I've had good luck with them in the past. I have some allium from them. I have some daffodils. I feel like I have a couple other things, but I've bought from them a couple times and always pre-ordered, which is scary because it is something that you're spending, you know, like a hundred bucks on in, in January and you don't get until October. I always feel like I need to keep that in like a specific folder so I can like check and be like, okay, is it supposed to ship yet? Is it supposed to ship yet? But always good things from them. Anyway, like I said, not sponsored, Holland Bulb Farm, hit me up. I love bulbs, I love planting things, and I hope that I can convince a couple other people to plant as well. I cannot wait to follow up on this video in April, maybe? When my crocus start coming up, maybe March? Depends on the weather, who knows? I, I really, 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 fingers crossed, hope we can have this epic photo of my house that I want where the front yard just looks like flowers. You know what though? It might take a couple years. That is something else, is that gardening requires patience. So maybe next spring I will only have a couple crocus and that will be okay. But fingers crossed for big bloom, big, big, big blooms. Okay, enough rambling, goodbye. What I'm doing here is I am making an H shaped cut. So here is one line of the H, the other, and then here's the one that connects them. And this is nice because then you can just roll those back. Um, you know, if you, <laughs> if you actually shovel. <laughs> You can roll those back and you have two nice little flaps that once you plant your bulbs, you just cover it back up. I was better at editing. I would add a subliminal message in this whole video that was like, buy bulbs, buy bulbs. And you would just have to do it. So pretend that's happening.